your lame ass party ass. What's up, niggas? Thank y'all for coming out and enjoying this shit and uh, my first debut album on Def Jam Records, man. I've been, uh, as you niggas know, I've been on Sony for so long. They didn't deserve a nigga like me, you know? <laughs> they didn't deserve, now, not just me, just rap music. I've been the only rapper to have a black, uh, career on that label. It's so corporate over there. Def Jam's a legendary label with Public Enemy, EPFD, Nice and Smooth, everybody. So when I saw the movement that was happening over there, uh, L.A. Reid and Jay, we had to bring this shit back, you know, to the glory days of rap. Yeah. Hey, on the real, everybody just make some noise. I know y'all just happy to see you guys, right? Right? How many of y'all are DJs, man? Y'all really real DJs? I thought it was a setup because I said wreck the DJ on my single and shit, so I just said, you know, <laughs> Some DJs, I said, they gonna fuck me up. <laughs> <laughs> no, not at all. We real DJs out here, boy. That's what's up. Hey, but a uh, question to you. Do you um, you're saying that hip-hop is dead, and um, I want to ask you, do you believe that it's dead? And if it is dead, what killed it? Turn around this way. <laughs> you want to do that? You want to know, right? All right, let me think. There's it's so many reasons why hip-hop is dead. Right? I got you, sweetie. There's so many reasons why hip hop is dead. Let me think of where the fuck to start. Uh, there was a lot of uh, a lot of rappers are confused about it. There's some shirts hip hop ain't dead. There's rappers that's having fights with the radio host just today. I don't know if you heard about it. Yeah. And uh, it's like a lot of uh, there's rappers. Damn, they just know. So it's a lot. Of, it's like a lot of young dudes are not understanding. They they feel like the guys who've been around don't respect them. And the, and the guys who've been around feel like the young dudes don't respect them. So there's a lot of frustration and confusion on trying to be that number one spot. And everybody's scrambling to get that number one spot. So they're going to talk about you, your moms, your cat, your dog. They're going to say anything disrespectful to you to get a name. But before me and Jay had a battle, I already had a career. True. You know what I'm saying? Like, we had careers. True. So it's like, what happened to the time when niggas gave a fuck about just putting a record out and just... You just feel the shit, you know what I'm saying? So now it's all about MTV Cribs and you got to get your paper. Yeah. Overnight, a nigga want to be Nas over fucking night. And Fuck shit, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's hard. It's it's hard. that it's, it's so global. It's so global that it's so much money in it. We tend to forget, like, who, why we even do this shit. Like, there's a nigga that was on the radio arguing with a lady and he didn't even know that she was a, that she was a credible voice. She was a rapper. And, and that just goes to show you, it ain't his fault. It's just that so much we don't know about it, but we want to get in it, and we don't know how to deal with this shit. There's, and then also there's a control issue of programming, radio. There's no, none of you guys own a radio station. If one of you guys own their radio station, I will feel safe putting out a Nas album. But because you don't, I'm, I don't know what's going to happen. If one of you had owned a, I'm sorry? Oh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like video channels and shit like that. They don't support it, protect it. The Grammy Awards next year is still disrespecting rap music. They still not putting it in the category it deserves. They still not giving it the exposure it deserves. So the shit is not going to grow. It's getting worse and worse. But there's a lot of good rap out there. Like I said, there's a many, there's many, many reasons why I say hip hop is dead. And I think a few y'all gotta, you know, y'all y'all can feel whatever way. It's just my opinion. Can it be resurrected though? How's it back? Yeah. I mean, the shit is popping. There's a lot of good niggas, niggas out there that's killing the shit. Like who? Like who? Uh, game. Game. The game. Kanye West. E40 killed him this year. Snoop Dogg just fucking murdered him. <laughs> yeah, hold. It's, it's, it's a whole bunch of shit that's coming. That's that's still people are still spitting stuff. I, I like the recent shit that Weezy been doing and the, the shit T.I. is doing. Ludacris, the niggas is getting it off. No doubt. What, um, some of the most memorable moments while making this album, I know you did um, a song called Black Republican with Jay-Z. You also, back in, in um, on the Beat Machine too, you did a, um, a song called Where They At Now, which I appreciate so much. Um, 
like just memorable moments for you while you were making this album? Uh, like when I started to make the album, I said, which way I'm gonna go with it? It's called Hip Hop Is Dead. I said, it's, it's many ways to go about this shit. You know, the first thing you, you do is say, fuck the way you used to record. If it's dead, you can do what you want. So you can just say what you want, how, however you feel like saying it. And then I thought, nah, that niggas would think I'm crazy. The shit I was thinking about doing, niggas say he's bugging out. So I said, damn, like uh, Jim Morrison said, rock and roll is dead back in the days. And fucking Kurt Cobain had said rock and roll was dead. And I was like, what was they on? It was free. They feel like, be free, express your shit. Be free with it, do some next level shit. But then I thought, like, the rap world would think I'm bugging out. So I said, damn, you know, the only nigga that was able to do something, but he went real left, was Andre, I think Andre 3000. Yeah. But he's saying, he's, he's like one of my favorite lyricists, but he just, he goes there. So I said, how do I start this shit? Then I said, nigga, just chill, blaze a few up, <laughs> go to the studio, don't think about that shit. Now you shouldn't have named your album that you bit off more than you can chew. But this what always, I like to get myself in trouble with this, and damn, nigga. But that's what I did, I just got blazed up and just did whatever. Yeah. And another thing I give credit to a lot of MCs, man, they really write, they really on their craft. I write my shit and forget I said it, man. I swear to you. And it will be a hit record. I, yo, I, I kid you not. So that's how I do it. Whoever don't like it, I mean, it is what it is. I'm sorry. But let me think. I had some shit on this album. Um, uh, what's the shit? I said, uh, uh, some of them. <laughs> some of these old, some of these old rappers beat them crackheads. When they speak, they got missing teeth. Damn, I forget that shit. All right, some of these new rappers got their hat flipped backwards with their fingers intertwined and some gang sign madness. I got an exam. Let's see if y'all pass it. Let's see who can quote a Daddy Kane line the fastest. Most of you new rappers, I don't understand your code. You have your man shoot you like in that Soprano episode. Do anything to get in the game. Fuck. <laughs> Damn, I had y'all for a minute, too. You want to talk about um, any beefs or anything, man? You want to put that out there a little bit? The beef, the beef thing, right? <laughs> the beef thing is... Uh, it ain't really, it ain't what it should be, you know what I'm saying? It should be really like, you should really want to hear. Right, right. Like, I'm not anxious to hear the Jim Jones diss right now. Like, I'm not, I'm not like, I'm like, yo. The niggas that used to have a nigga a little nervous was like B.I.G., Pac. Right. Even Cannabis, like Eminem, the niggas used to have you like, if we go at it, dog, we got to go hard. You know what I'm saying? But, um. These niggas, like a Jim Jones, like, I, I mean, I respect you getting your money. You're like, exactly, right? But, but MC wise, you're not respecting his lyrical, his lyrical game right now. I, I respect his hustle. Right. I respect his hustle. That's about it. Um, and, and as far, I was thinking about an album called, uh, uh, what's this shit called? I was going to do the nigga album next. The nigga album? Yeah, yeah that was this nigga. Like and, um, <laughs> yeah, you, you should call it the Kramer album. Yeah. Straight up. <laughs> Yo, that was originally the name, that's why I called it the end. It was really called supposed to be called the N word. So I just kept the end in there for now, so I was like, fuck it. I feel you, it ain't not. You know what? Niggas gotta remind me about this shit, cause I don't really know. I can't keep up with how many dudes are saying what. It's like I seen them here. I seen them here. It was me and you. We there were about twenty of them. And uh, I didn't know it was him. We just walked by into the hotel. And Mike started laughing. I said, why? He said, senior man put his head down. I said, who? He said, Jim Jones. I said, no. So he's like, yeah. I said, oh, whatever. So it's just me and him. You know, no security, none. Just So and uh, on a DVD a few months later, I heard that he said, he saw me and said, Nasir Jones, Nasir Jones, what up? And he said, I had a bunch of bodyguards and I had my head down. I said, why even acknowledge that you saw me? It don't even fucking make no damn sense, nigga. Like, if you didn't, if you put your head down or you didn't see me, you don't want. To, why even say it on a DVD, nigga? So we dealing with a lot of, you know, I don't want to disrespect them because they getting their money and it brings me lower when I talk about them motherfuckers. You know? That's cool. But I do, I do sense something happening. I, I feel 
I feel like niggas is trying to start something up. I, I think personally, all you need to do is just either one more MC, and I don't think no MCs will step to you after that anymore. Period. But it got. Yo, I, honestly, I can't, like, if it was like Jim Jones, imagine putting a pen to paper to write about him. <laughs> <laughs> even something nice. Even something nice about him. How, how did you do that? What, what's the first sentence? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck do you write about him? You know what I'm saying? That's real. I, I, if he's here, he know. He know. He said he was surprised that Jay-Z answered him. Right. You know what I'm saying? He knows what his hustle is. <laughs> so how's the marriage, brother? Everything's good? Everything's good. Of course. Yeah. Of course. Y'all yeah. give it up for his wife, Khalees. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You know what I'm saying? You got a song on there uh, on your album also with her too. Talk about that. You know, like, you know, whose idea was it? And It's called Not Going Back. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like the hood is in me, but I don't be in the hood. You know what I'm saying? Jungle be in the hood. If I want to know what's up with the hood, what up, son? Oh, word? Oh, that nigga's crazy. <laughs> and I'm like, yo, nigga, you hang around that nigga still, nigga? All right? I noticed on the album there was no primo joints at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Premier gave me like two records. We started the album with Premier. Uh, Premier has his entourage. I have my entourage. So everybody's in there excited. Right. And I'm like, damn, I, I wind up hanging out talking with them instead of making records. Right, right. So I, we could never put that together. So I was like, yo, let's go away. Let's go somewhere away. We just can never fit the schedules up to go away where niggas can't bomb us. Okay. When you're done with this rap shit, man, when you finally done, what do you think that you're going to be doing? Besides chilling with the wifey and everything, but what, 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 what do you think you're going to be doing? You're going to be running the label? You're going to be looking for more acts? You're still going to be in this industry? What are you going to be doing? What do you think? Yeah, I'm not even in the industry now, dog. I, I just fake this shit. Like, I tell you, I feel you. I go up there and tell the label what, boom, 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 I'm doing this. Y'all niggas ain't gonna see me. Y'all know. <laughs> niggas surprised I'm motherfucking, like, did this shit. Like, it's, it's like that. Like, I don't fuck with this industry at all. I be meeting niggas. They be like, what up, people? Yo, I love your shit. Then they come out with an album. The shit go platinum. Now the niggas is looking at me like, who the fuck is you? It's like so much of that going on. Yeah. Then niggas... Deal with that shit. I just be like, wow. First of all, I want to say that I love you and I really respect what you've done with this game. First of all, thank you. Congratulations on being in the wedding. Thank you. Third of all, what's in your CD player? What's something far off the wall that your audience would never think you listen to? And I honestly don't laugh, y'all. Uh, jazz. Fucking jazz. Cold Train, Miles Davis. Kind of blue and the Love Supreme Co Train album all the time. Master Plan. What view would you say of yours is <laughs> Probably Street Dreams. Why not? Because nigga, I put on that pink shit first, nigga. <laughs> hey, yo, I don't get no credit, yo. I be starting so much shit, yo. Now I be like, look, that nigga bite, nigga. I swear to God, yo, they don't give me no credit for that shit, nigga. But I'll be just, it's all good. Where's AZ? Where's AZ? Y'all like AZ? I'ma let him know. Really? I'ma let that nigga know, cause he, that nigga don't go nowhere, man. I gotta find him, he got a new number every time, yo. And then I see him in the magazine, like, yo, what up, now? Nah, why this nigga don't be coming out, man? Please check that nigga, man, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, hey, man, I got five wrong numbers on you, nigga. <laughs> so when I, I'm trying to get him, I got a concert in New York when I get back, so I'm trying to find him for that shit. We'll be back out here soon with a crazy concert. Y'all know this one? Some of y'all do it. Living shit. Serious. All right. If y'all find DMX, let me know. That nigga crazy. He wanted it. But you know what? That's one of the truest niggas I've ever met in this rap shit. You see him, you get what you get. He's not fronting, he's not lying, he's the truth 100%. So, actually I did I did speak to his wife, his wife knows my wife, so we keep the connection and we keep developing the story. It's about two studios that want the movie, so as soon as we develop the whole story, 
We trying to get it out late 07, just for the hood. It's like, you gotta see, like, you never heard me on records mentioning his name, even when we was cool. You know what I'm saying? It was like, I was, I never had any problem with the dude. The dude, I can't respond to him because he respond, He talks about everybody. So it's like, everybody can't respond at the same, it's like, it don't make sense. It's like, if you talk about me, Jada Kiss, Fat Joe, then Oprah Winfrey. I'd rather hear Oprah Winfrey respond, they can tell you 